welcome back to my channel for a summer TBR video. I wanted to make a quick TBR bullet journal spread with the books I want to read in the next couple of months. I went for a stained glass windows theme which you'll see throughout the video as I make my spread. Content wise, I wanted to have both a on my shelf TBR and a wishlist side. As many of you may know, I started this channel because I really wanted to finally read all the books on my shelves, so I try to remind myself of that with these TBR spreads, always making sure I have enough on there that I already have um, at home. Um, let me know in the comments what you plan to read this summer. I would love to hear from you on your reading plans or of course your recommendations. So starting with the on my shelf side of the TBR, I first have Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar. I got this stunning copy which has a flower print on the edges. Uh, I got this quite a while ago, so I really want to read it this summer. This story is about a transgender teen grappling with identity and self-discovery while falling in love for the first time. And just from the cover, it just screams summer vibes. Next, I also want to read Beautiful World, Where Are You? by Sally Rooney. I got this beautiful hardcover as a gift and I really want to finally get to it before I am the absolute last person on booktube to read it. I have enjoyed Sally Rooney's writing so far, um, but it does always make me feel melancholic and frustrated and I haven't been in the mood for that um, recently, but I'll try to read it in the next couple of months. Another book I'm really excited for is Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. I absolutely loved House in the Cerulean Sea. It's one of those key books that got me out of my reading slump. And I am really looking forward to reading this book as well. The blurb reads, When a reaper comes to collect Wallace from his own funeral, Wallace begins to suspect he might be dead. And when Hugo, the owner of a peculiar tea shop, promises to help him cross over, Wallace decides he's definitely dead. But even in death, he's not ready to abandon the life he barely lived, so when Wallace is given one week to cross over, he sets about living a lifetime in seven days. Hilarious, haunting, and kind, Under the Whispering Door is an uplifting story about a life spent at the office and a death spending, spent building a home. Uh, this book just sounds so wholesome and sad, which is just my vibe. I really want to get back into reading more contemporary novels this summer, and the next few have been on my shelf for far too long. First is Homegoing, which is Iagyasi's first novel. The setting starts off in Ghana, it follows two half-sisters, and later through the book their descendants through different generations. It has some key themes of slavery and colonialism, and from what I've heard, it has very beautiful writing, so I'm very excited to get to it very soon. Another contemporary novel I want to read is A Burning by Mega Majumdar, um, another debut novel. It's set in India and from what, what I can tell has a large political component to it, which I'm very excited for. I also want to read Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Evaristo which from my, what I heard is particularly interesting for its writing style. It follows 12 different women in the UK as they tell their story. Then I have two non-fiction books on my shelf that I really want to get to. Um, the first one is The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green. I, I love John Green, he's the author that got me back into reading with Turtles All the Way Down and I'm very curious to read his non-fiction as well. Then there's Voodoo Histories, the role of conspiracy theory in shaping modern history. I think conspiracy theories are fascinating and I heard this is written in a very non-stuffy and funny way. So I'm curious to read this. It's got uh, mixed reviews, but I think I'll find it interesting nonetheless. Then there are a number of books that I don't have, but I do really want to read. 
So I made a wish list, which is essentially a list I can use as an excuse to break my book buying ban. First is Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas. It's a fantasy, it's young adult, and there's the paranormal aspect. It's gotten amazing reviews. So if I see a copy of this, I will definitely get it. I've also been meaning to get uh, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which is a book inspired by the legend of a Chinese goddess. It's part of a duology, so maybe I will get it once um, the second one comes out, which I believe is later this year. Then I have two memoirs that I've been wanting to read as well. The first is Crying in H Mart by Michelle Zahner. I heard it's devastating, but also really beautiful um, about family and grief. I'll definitely need to be in the mood for that, but I think it's um, definitely worth a read. I would also love to read Know My Name by Chanel Miller. I've heard nothing but good things about it. There are also two Japanese books on my wish list, which is um, Lonely Castle in the Mirror by Mizuki Tsujimura, which is a young adult in magical realism book. Um, it sounds kind of weird, but intriguing. And then there's also How Do You Live by Genzaburo Yoshino, which I feel like I heard will be the basis for a new Ghibli movie, so will definitely be right up my alley. I also would love to get my hands on the Scythe series by Neil Shusterman. I don't remember how I came across this series, but it's a dystopian young adult series. The description reads, a world with no hunger, no disease, no war, no mis misery. Humanity has conquered all those things and has even conquered death. Now scythes are the only ones who can end life, and they are commanded to do so in order to keep the size of the population under control. Which sounds pretty intriguing to me. It's gotten some mixed reviews, but I really want to give it a go. I have two more non-fiction books on this list as well. First, I have Educated by Tara Westover. It's a coming-of-age memoir about someone who grew up with a survivalist family in Idaho and so didn't go to school growing up. And from what I heard, it really explores what an education is and what it offers a person. Um, it just sounds very interesting. Finally, I have on my list Story Worthy, um, because I really like storytelling, not just through books, but in general. And I really want to learn more about how I can use storytelling better in my professional life, in my personal life. So I think this one will be very useful. And that is it for my summer TBR. These are my priority books for the coming months. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully enjoyed the bullet journal spread as well. Make sure to subscribe if you're looking for more bookish content. See you next time and have a nice day.